Hi, I'm Dame Kelly Holmes, double Olympic champion. Running pretty much is my life. I absolutely think that running can transform people's lives. I was in the military for nearly 10 years. I was a heavy goods vehicle driver, believe it or not, to start, and then I transitioned to become a physical training instructor in charge of all units, physical training, those that got deployed and those that were in the UK. I'm now a pan-army honorary colonel. So I was an international athlete before I joined the military. It was something that I always wanted to do since I was 14, gave me a sense of purpose. My military training, gave me a huge amount of strength as a female athlete. You know, I used to have to wear full combat boots, weapons, bergens, and have to train male soldiers. I got back into my international career during my army career. I used to put being a soldier first and my athletic second, until the point when I was winning major medals. And I had to make a major decision on whether I stay in the military or I go for my second dream, which was to become an Olympic champion. Um, I went from being a, a school champion to a national and international runner to winning 13 international major medals. And then I use it now really for health and well-being. It's a great tool for clearing your mindset and also giving you positivity, and that's why I do it now. Now, it's helped me so much with my mental health. I'm very open with the effects of many things to do with your life that has had barriers. I think also running's empowered me to empower other people to use running as a tool for their mental well-being. My charity, the Dame Kelly Homes Trust, has been going 15 years now, and I'm so proud of starting it. I started it because I believed that one person in someone's life can make a huge difference. I had my PE teacher that told me that if I focused on who I was, I could be really good, and she meant that in terms of running. But it was just having that one person that believed in me. I started working uh, in many charities, and I also realized that a lot of places that I got to go to, I was never going to areas of deprivation, uh, working with young people at a disadvantage, and I felt that they were the people that needed support. The hardest part of starting to run is thinking about it. The more you think about it, the less you'll do. So put on those trainers and set yourself a little goal, even if it's like 10 minutes, 30 seconds walking, 30 seconds jogging, continue that for 10 minutes, then go home. That would be a bigger achievement than sitting at home and saying, I can't. It can be about social interaction and building communities around you and getting out and doing something positive in your life. Sport can bring people together. It doesn't matter where you're from, what your background is, what your social economic starting point was, what you look like, how tall you are, how big you are or small you are. It's about using the power of running to be inclusive and bring people together for fun. Okay, so that's enough chatting. I'm out for a run.